Andre coming to you live down here in Indiana. And this morning, I woke up with this. One of the things you should do is go check your car for a jack. And this one actually has the tool to take the tire off and also jack up the jack. All right, so now before you get the jacking, <laughs> you gotta make sure that your parking brake is on. Otherwise, the car can roll off the jack. Get a head start on trying to get your jack to open up before you actually put it underneath the car. Arrow right here indicating this needs to go to here. Now that I actually got it nice and tight on there, I'm actually going to jack it up now. So now that the tire has distance underneath the tire here from the ground, it's time to take the tire off. Let me show you how to do that. So basically the same tool that I used to jack up the jack with has on the other end the ability to pry off this uh, hubcap cover. Alright, so now that I get these bolts off, I'll be able to take the tire off and finally drive this over to the tire store. So another thing to consider before you put your bolts on is to make sure they're at the, on the right side. So this is the side that goes into the wheel. The flat side is the side that should be facing you. See the difference? One side's flat and the other side's got a little bevel. The bevel should always go into the rim. So basically the same way you put the bolts on in a star pattern is the same way you would tighten them up. So just imagine you're drawing a star and that's exactly how you'll put the bolts into the wheel. So now that I got the wheel back on, it's time to let the car back down. Well, there you have it folks, that's how you change a tap.